Hey again everyone! Since the Summer Olympics are here once again, I, the Big Bad Wolf, am doing another real long review in honor of the Olympic Games. And what title is it? The Charlie Brown Records read along book and audio adaptation of You're the Greatest Charlie Brown, the 1979 Emmy Award nominated TV special. As I said, Charlie Brown Records was a division of Disneyland Vista Records, run by Jim Maggan and Lee Mendelssohn, which is why I'm reviewing it. This is rather interesting, as this special was only a year old when the read-along came out in 1980. All of the audio, except for the introduction, comes directly from the TV special soundtrack, with funky music by Ed Bogus and Judy Munson. And while it's not as good as the late Vince Guaraldi scores, it sounds pretty groovy. The illustrations here come from one of those Charlie Brown TV special hardcover books published by Random House in the 80s, some of which were also released as read-along editions by Fisher Price. I think they may have adapted the full specials too, unlike this one, since they had to cut down 23 to 11 minutes. But the cuts here aren't as bad as when I reviewed the Snoopy Come Home read-along list last year. Let's have a listen. Yeah, plain yellow label, of course. Hi, I'm Charlie Brown. You can read along in your book as you listen to the story. You'll know it's time to turn the page when you hear the chimes ring like this. Yep, the same chime sound, too. And now we present, You're the Greatest, Charlie Brown. Okay, gang, we have somebody from our school entered in every event for the Junior Olympics, except for the decathlon. I sure don't want to enter that event. Listen to how deep Linus' voice was in the late 70s. That's too much work. Boy, who would be that dumb to want to enter And Lucy, camp? too. Hi, everybody. Are there any events left open? Sure, Charlie Brown. But I really don't think that you would... Hold it, Linus. You're in luck, Charlie Brown. There is. Event you might recognize her voices from when I reviewed those Chai Brown Christmas read along and the Great Pumpkin the soundtrack Brown. album. The decathlon? Me and the decathlon? It's an awful lot of work, Charlie Brown. You have to do a whole lot of training and you have to compete in ten events. Oh, that's okay, Linus. It'll be worth it if it helps the team. You're the greatest, Charlie Brown! Yep, that music takes me back to a time when people were walking around with bell bottoms and afros. Until the meet, we're going to have to go on a strict training program. I want you to do eight laps every day to warm up. Start running. Yeah, at our Junior Olympics, I don't think they do like like a variety of sports That's like the real job. Olympics do, pretty like basketball and swimming and training stuff. The, uh, uh, the decathlon. Uh, must be going. You look very strong. That's one. Only 25 more to go. I saw you lifting those weights. That was very brave. Not brave. Just heavy. That sounds really authentic. Makes me feel almost a little out of breath just hearing it. Boy, I'm really tired. I appreciate you working out with me, Snoopy. Hmm. You must be exhausted too. That's what he thinks. <laughs> sounds like the end of something. Now we're going over the ten events you'll be competing in. The first event is the hundred. Get off the blocks fast. Okay, Chuck, down to the blocks. On your mark, get 
Bar bear running sound. That wasn't in the actual special. <laughs> like how tomboyish Pat Patty is. Important thing here, Chuck, is not to go outside the circle. Great form, Charles. I'm sure you'll put it out of the park. Now oh, wow. oh. <laughs> yep, Woodstock's cameo too. Maybe I shouldn't enter the decathlon. Don't be silly, Chuck. You just need to build up your confidence. You have a few days yet to get in shape. I've admired how hard you've been training. It's that running sound of that. Hanna Barbera boing oh, sound. Maybe he can't do it. Give him a chance, sir. Yeah. How about you, Marcy? You're in good shape. Maybe we should enter you. That's kind of a backup. But Marcy's not athletic. Charlie Brown, if you win your event, our school has a good chance of winning the track meet. So don't blow it. Oh, that, Lucy. Chuck, they just announced your competitors for the Decathlon. I'll introduce you to them. Maybe it'll shake them up a little when they meet you. I hope it doesn't encourage them. Chuck, meet Freddie Fabulous from Fremont. He won this event. One of the few teenage characters in the Peanuts franchise. Glad to meet you. You'll be sorry soon that you met me, kid. <laughs> well, I've heard of other schools like Fremont, but I've never heard of the Ace Obedience School. The Masked Marvel. Just like in there was a short the summer, Charlie Brown. To the 100 meter dash, please. That's Scott Beach doing the announcer voice. He also did all the adult male voices in Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown. Let's hope so. That's kind of an odd place to end the first side, but then again on the cassette version it doesn't matter. I do find it odd how this place Peppermint Patty and Marcy in the same school as Charlie Brown and the others, when normally in the comic strips and in other animated productions, those two girls go with Franklin to a different school in another part of the town. But I also remember in the Peanuts movie, they put them all in the same school again. In some ways, this special also kind of reminds me of Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown, due to it featuring most of the same voice cast, including Scott Beach doing adult male voices, and music by the same composers. Here's where more stuff is cut down, including all the antics of Snoopy as a mass marvel. But since they didn't feature any dialogue, it doesn't matter there, I guess. Let's hear it for ourselves. Or turn the page. There. The second event in the decathlon is the broad jump. Ha! Watch this one. Especially you, pumpkin heads. <laughs> what a jerk. Yeah, the real special mostly used the same sound effects to Patty Frilling was using at the time. Only Freddy 
fabulous beat you, and not by much. Maybe I have a chance after all. Are you kidding? You're gonna win, Chucko. Chucko? <laughs> Chucko Browno. They have one athletes to the high jump. This is my best event, kid. I'll snow you under from here on. <laughs> Hannah Meyer, they're a boy, Sam. I thought he'd win everything easily. Maybe he's getting a little... And we learned Marcy won the high jump the in the special. The final the first day of competition in the decathlon, the 400 meter dash. Yeah, it's one of the first peanut specials, I believe, to have adult voices in it. Instead of the wah 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 stuff. Yep, he was also the Master Marvel in Your Good Sport, Charlie Brown. I don't believe it. After the first five events, you're in third place, Charlie Brown. I thought you'd be dead last. Yeah, the Master Marvel was last. And so did our team. In fact, if you can win the decathlon tomorrow, we may win the Junior Olympics. I'm so nervous, I've got a stomachache. Of course. Uh, school is depending on me. Don't worry, Charlie Brown. All you can do is try to do your best. That's the problem. My best isn't very good. The first event of the second day of the decathlon is the 110 meter high hurdle. Okay, pumpkinhead, no more nice guys. I'm gonna it's run the music away. for the shot put scene. Oh. Or Charlie Brown. We have a problem, Chuck. The Masked Marvel is up to you now. We can't afford any more last places. Charlie Brown seems to always do rough at the first event. The seventh event will be the discus. The actual Charlie Brown grunt. Here's Marcy. You did it! You did it, Chuck! You won an event! Yeah. You won the discus! All four of you are neck and neck! Very good you music here, Chuck. too! The eighth event in the decathlon is the pole vault. Chuck, you did very well in the pole vault. Now you're all about even. Let's really heave the old javelin, Chuck. That's where Marcy went on the high jump in the music. The Warner Brothers falling effect. You won the javelin. You're in first place. All you have to do is win the final event and you'll win the whole thing. Gee, maybe I do have a chance after all. We'll see. The next event is the final event in the decathlon. The 1500 meter run. Starts out fine. Maybe I do have a chance to win. Maybe I will be the hero. I'm going to get overconfident. What an epic fail! He ran off the track! <laughs> he lost the weight! It's great being a winner! So peaceful and quiet! Little does he know. Now that's the credit scheme! I guess the whole school hates me. Well, at least I am glad to hear Marcy won the decathlon. Surprising, huh? Don't worry, Chuck. The school won anyway. Besides, they know you did yeah. your best. In the final lap of the race, Hi, the Masked Marvel, pretty fabulous, got tangled up, kind of. Thanks, and congratulations on winning, Marcy. You're a great competitor and a real gentleman. I think you're the greatest, child. Oh, look.
Yep, that was the that was the first time Marcy's eyes were shown in Peanuts history. Pretty good story there, even though Chai Brown running off the track like that was one of his biggest blunders ever. I did like how in the animated version they had epic music accompany that big mistake. It's great being a winner. So peaceful and quiet. How about that? At least everyone went easy on old Charlie Brown after his epic fail. It's not even mentioned if Lucy teased him about it or not. Well, of course, we know how mean she can be to everyone. Also, it's worth noting that the Summer Olympics are currently being held in Rio, where the three Caballeros normally are. In fact, Mickey Mouse Disco has a song, Welcome to Rio, on it. Yes, I got the album on cassette now, too. That's one of those Disney song tape and book sets, which is designed kind of similar to Disney's regular book and cassette read-alongs. Here it is, walking to Rio. And yep, there's me, appearing in the Disco Mickey Mouse lyric pages. <laughs> it was a different time back then. Anyways, hope y'all liked this video. I need to get ready for I soon go to Boston Comic Con this upcoming weekend.